Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial for a low poly temple, a Roman low poly temple. And let's get started. I opened Blender 2.8, it's the beta, <coughs> sorry. And um, I just use a reference photo from uh, the temple of Julius Caesar. It's uh, in an application named Pure Ref, like this. And you can just put uh, photos and everything in it and you can just check it out as reference so it doesn't disappear when you work behind or in front <coughs> sorry but well, let's get started um first i just delete the cube and i really like to start with a new collection i just name it base something like that and then i go to add it's here to the mesh and create a plane before I create the plane also now you have here all your modificators so you can just go to this little camera symbol I really like to um, apply a little bit ambient occlusion so I, a little bit it's <laughs> kind of a lot something like that and then you can just press Z and you can see you can change between the modes so this is render this is solid and this one is look deaf so you can see the amb ambient occlusion so the next step is I click tab to go to the edit mode also you can click it here edit mode and I will just drag this one a little bit out so you can read all the uh, features blender has and when you press on the num lock uh, on a num uh, keyboard one you have the front view, three is the side view, and seven is from up. So I just start with one. So check out that uh, it's orange, so it's highlighted that we can work on it. And then I just basically like to start with a column. Um, this I will do just an easier one for the low poly because I really don't um, get like this. Uh, kind of style it's a little bit difficult also so I just start it so you can just press E to extrude it um, I will just start with the little one here just like the base from the column um, sometimes it's not so difficult and then you can press again E well, sorry again E you can see it's extruded again then press S to um, go outside or inside. You can just go a little bit inside. And then again, something like that. And extrude it again out with S. The scale, sorry. And something like this one. So it's not one to one, but I really like. Like just, just as reference. So then we can just take you can just uh, go to the face select mode you can select this one shift and d for and uh, start that you can uh, duplicate it and you can just drag it outside when you press p uh, you can select it so uh, separate it um, do it on the selection and how you can see it's uh, his own one so you can just move it low press ctrl z to go back so but you can see that this uh, gizmo here is not in the middle of the sand of this object you can just go to object set origin to origin to geometry and it will just go on the right side so um, to do the columns i rather like to go to the modificators like that and oh, sorry you have here all your modificators um, some I really didn't use a lot some I really use a lot so um, now we just use the subdivision surface just when you click it you can see it has like so low poly circle and you can change it to simple or to Catmull Clark the other option is uh, when you just want to have more faces more trees more details but it doesn't uh, depend now 
So, then you can drag it a little bit down. You can just apply it. Oh. Again, edit. And we can just take this one here. Press X. And we can... Oops, it's so false. We can delete just the face so it's not in four pieces. Uh, maybe it's... Oh, yeah, no, dissolve faces, just the face. Again, click one to go on the front view. And then you can just, like the same with the base, and just drag it out. They have sometimes a little bit more details in it, so you can just drag it again out and then just scale a little bit down. Something like that. And then you can just drag it a little bit out. Something like that. So, and then you can just press E again, drag it a lot out. And again, S to scale it down. So and the problem is it's now uh, the problem is now that um, the columns here. I think it's Corinthian columns. I don't know. They are really difficult for me to make it. Uh, maybe you can just do it better than me. So I just try to do a, a really really basic column, something like that. But first, I just tr I like to apply a little bit details also here, or something like that. And then I just press E and I just extrude it out. Something like this. So like a Greek kind of column. But it's a lot of easier than this one. So now we have our basic column. Um, I just take this one as reference. Also, we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So I just try drag this one a little bit out, select both and then again shift D shift D shift D and we have six so something like that yeah it's okay good I can just close this so I will just name this column so it's a little bit easier for us then I will create a new collection add a plane go to 7 to look it on the top view and just like the same just as and scale it up that you have that you cannot see anymore the columns so hmm. something like that um, next we can go here to the edge select just select this edge here and just drag it out it's a little bit longer on the side so now I just try to do this one here so you can press A to select everything go to control R Um, a little bit more, something like that. It just get close to the second one, and here also the same. Something like that. <coughs> Sorry. And the same one again. Press it here. You can see it a little bit goes a little bit more right. So I just press it like that don't need to be perfect so and then again we have the edge select select both edge so you can press one and then click alt and select the other one click e to extrude it and just put it a little bit outside oh, a little bit too much no oh. this one is good okay then we can again press a to select everything i go to the front view and just extrude it well just extrude it down so well, it's a little bit too up i think something like that hmm. 
<laughs> Maybe you can just push this one. No, I push it. Okay, so just create this one. Then you can see it, it goes here a little bit down. So I just take again A and I just drag it a little bit out. Something like that. Then again, control R. Maybe at the beginning. Hmm, no, I'm just a little bit. Oh, just control R to delete the last ones. So I think the best one is we just select again with the faces and drag this a little bit more out. So we can just go like that and then select the other edges on the side. Well, extrude them also. And go back. Well, it's, it's a little better. It's not perfect, but it's better. And then again, I just select the other faces and push this a little bit up. Okay. Uh, the next, well, I will just save it. You can go to File, Save. Um, I just name it Temple. Save it. <coughs> so, okay, I think it's not bad for the base. So the next one, just go proceed to this one here again. Select A, extrude it till here. Again, press C, oh sorry, yes, press C, so you have this little dot here, it's a little circle, when you just scroll it with your mouse wheel, it goes, it zooms in and it zooms out, so you can just select multiple things, so you don't need to press Alt the, uh, every time. So now the same, we will just dissolve the faces, and again, Shift D to duplicate it, drag it a little bit up. P and selection. So and then just select this one here. Like A to select everything. Just drag it again a little bit back and extrude it the whole time until here. Yeah, good. So it's not bad, it's the second base. And at the same time, you can just, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, I just need to drink something. So I can just select this here, again, X to dissolve the faces, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Shift D, duplicate it, put it like that, and again, P and selection. So I can just drag this a little bit in front and you can see this one is again false so objects at origin to origin to geometry now it's again back so the next one try to do kind of this one here so you can just select this one here go to front view again and first we'll just do a little bit bigger extrude it again extrude it again and just go down then again can just extrude it like that E to extrude S scale it a little bit yeah something like that and then again yeah I think that's a good one and then the next step can go to 7 just control R Oopla. so can go to the knife tool so press on this edge here and press uh, C so it just cuts in a line select the other line here and press the space uh, space bar so then you can just go again to the um, what do we have here to the edge select sorry to the edge select select this one here and then you can just voila, 
Sorry, just first. Mm. I think because we dissolved the, because we dissolved the um, faces. So he won't do that. Yeah, we can, can see it's a little bit tricky. So just again go back. Mm, maybe we just need to start it off with a normal plane. Okay, so just delete it and start again. Add mesh the plane. Press one. Drag it up. Press S to scale it. So. And we can just with the scale button can also just scale the lines hmm. a little bit more so sorry because when you <coughs> dissolve the verticals and the faces you cannot uh, work anymore with the control r button so that's a little bit problem so next we just try to do the same one so we can just extrude it again one so so and then you can just press a again and you can see with ctrl r you can just extrude the whole thing now so just select this edge one and drag this out so good so the next step is Press the faces and click X, uh, not X, C again. Just select the whole faces here. Just be sure that you select everything. Something that's good. And just extrude it out. Something like that. Yeah, I think this one is good. I could just do the same with the object, set origin to geometry, so it's in the back again. So, next step is you can just take these two edges, press E again and start. Then just drag it a little bit down, also with the scale button. I will just take this one also, the edges, and they, I will just put them a little bit outside then again take both faces press E and you can see it can go inwards or outwards so just press to go inwards and again E has and again E so it has like a little bit of um, 3D space well, maybe you can just go a little bit oh, so it's good I'll just save it again so the next one is uh, mm, yeah we'll just go with the stairs so the next thing is I just press these two I will select both with alt and then just click on it go to edit mode with tab and select the both sides here and just drag it out so because you can see it goes a little bit down here the next one is you can just go to add mesh plane and create again a plane so press 7 to go to top mode and then again just find a space that they can go in something like that and we can go to one uh, well go to edit mode just take one edge put this one here I think this one is good. So, then go to R and control R again, and you can just select how much when you uh, go to, um, <coughs> in front with your mouse scroll wheel. You can just change how much subdivisions you want to put in it. So maybe if there are a lot of stairs, but I think it's not doesn't depend on that. So mm, maybe I'll just do something like this one. And when you can see when you finished press press start, it goes up a little bit of um selection to it so you can change it here. Oh. Oh no, sorry. So you can see here the number of cuts. You can do it also manually, but I like the seven. Smoothness and everything. So well, honestly I just use the number of cuts. So and then just select with the face button again this one. Just drag it out like this. 
<clears throat> you can just start it with that. And then again, same one, just that it sees like stairs. Yeah, something like that, that every, everyone has the same like space. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. And now you can see it because I strewed it in the front. You have like this problem that you can see in it. So uh, I don't know how to um, solve this one. Sometimes you can just extrude it on the ground first and then extrude it on the up and it works. Um, when you just also doesn't need like to look on the ground, you can just let it like that. And when you just want to fill this one here, you can just go to this one. Oh, well, um, so I'll just show you another one. So when you click tap and you select this one, so oh not tap, sorry. When you click uh, on the um, left button with the little, I think paragraph symbol, you can just outline this one here. So you can just work on this one here. So you can just again with C, take every edge here. Oh, this one not. I just will do this. So, good. And then just press F, and it will fill it. So, then again, press the button uh, up, the tab button, the paragraph button. Go to find and just save it again something like that that looks not bad good next one is uh, i just try to make here a little bit more details so just select everything from here just again with the paragraph button it's uh, under the ask button and up the tab button so has like this paragraph symbol, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Then again, we can just extrude it a little bit, and then take the whole extrude part here. So just this one, not because they're like the um, stairs press e and extrude it outside so uh, now you can see this one is a little bit of problem uh, i just do it manually thing like that and just select this one and do it like that and then again here also when it, you have something like that you can just press s to scale it and then you can press epsilon to close it like down, but this one is not true. So S X is also true. S Z, nope, nope. Okay, now it's true. So you can just press S Epsilon and then zero, and it will just uh, go down and press Enter. You can just do the same here. S Epsilon zero and Enter. Yeah, something good, so good. And then you can again press the button to display everything. Also, you can just can outline the whole, uh, you can just put away the whole collection just by pressing this visible button, or you can just press manually all this one. So this one works too. Good, I think it's not look so bad. The next step is uh, just make a little bit more details on the um, roof. So just press R one time here and one time here. And I will just extrude this part here. And then I will just extrude also one time here. Mm. Ah, oh, this not looks good. 
just put like something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. So the next one is we can just put the ground, this one here. So we just add again a plane, scale it, uh, push it here. Just as to make it a little bit bigger. Just push this one here, sorry. Can go to subdivision, sorry, you can go to subdivision surface again. And uh, just let it like this one. This one is just like this part here. So because it's low poly, I don't think it's really need to be like a very perfect circle. So I can just apply it. Then again, press edit, select both faces, X and the solve. Oh, sorry, not this of faces, faces, just faces. Then control R, make something like, uh, like that. Again, control R and again, control R. Select the faces again and just then delete the face. So you have something like that. Select everything with A. Push this one on the ground. I can just do it a little bit bigger. So like in the center from the stairs and everything and I think this one is not so bad so the next step is you can go here to the little one to the vertex select so on the next step uh, I think I can show you the mirror modificator you just delete this side here press A to select this one here you can go here to mirror so you can see just comes on the other side so when you change settings blah you can change change setting here it will cha change the setting on the other side like a mirror does you can change the axis you can just do hold the axis so it's you can really do fun with the mirror modificator but we just need uh, x axis and i think everything is fine here so and then i'm just press e just look at here in the photo. Uh, yeah, press E and then X. So he just will go on the same side like me. Something like that. Extrude it again. Below. No, it doesn't work. So again, X and then you can just press. Um, this one is the Y. Sorry. So I say Y Y is for, for because I'm from uh, Switzerland, so it's the <laughs> the false one. Sorry. So it's in the it's the like Y. Yeah, I think it's the Y axis. So we can just press the Y button, and then drag it. Hmm, drag like something like this one here. Ah, I think this one is better. So this one here. Sorry, I just just forget how to say it. Again, E, X, E, uh, E, X to it, and this Y button. And you can see here, it's just a little bit, little one here. So you have here against stairs. So you can just, you can also just extrude it, let it go, and you can drag it like that. Oh, I think so, it's good. And then again, extrude it. So I'm um, gonna just a little bit bigger and then again E uh, until it just reached this point here. Mm. Yeah, I think this one is good. And um, we can also just delete this side here because we doesn't need it. So I think just the verticals. Yeah, we can just delete the verticals and then you can just take this dot here. Alt this dot here and press F. So it just will connect it both together. The next one is take everything and press F again. So we have this second base one here. So I will just extrude it on the ground first, like like this, and then select the, this one and extrude it up. So, and then I will take the whole 
extruded side again e and s so you can see again it has some problems so just push it manually like that and here it has also the problem what you can do is you can just select this one here again and press s oh no s x uh, it's not the same as uh, oh, wow. so you can press s x zero and again enter so and it will just go on the, the same side mm. Oh, here also. Just select this one here. As like so. Good. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Can just do, I think, this one a little bit bigger. Good. Then again, save it. So, the next step is um you can just do this one here also so just select it again extrude it one time you can just extrude it with s but you can see it it doesn't work like really good so i first extrude it and then just change the sides on the ground that i uh, like so you can just do that one time here maybe this one is not needed because you can see it from the stars can e start and s so you can just change s x and here also um, when you can see it how to work just press set and wireframe it so you can just see it better from this side you can select this one side and this one side is also false so s x okay and then z again and oh not the renderer solid it's not it's still look due good it doesn't look so bad um the next one is i just try to make again the stairs so just seven to lift on the top cube x with s you can again scale it press one go down something like that take go to edit mode extrude this one also go a little bit down yeah i think this one's it's, it's okay so and now i can just show you how you mean because when you extrude it first on the ground it oh, I can just put it if you extrude it first on, uh, downwards it w will not have like the problems with the other one there that you can see that you can see through this one here so just select a everything and we can just make it like i think okay seven is good so one two three four five six seven okay it's eight is it eight Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it's eight. Hmm, strange. Okay. This last one, uh, I can push a little bit. <laughs> this one is good. So you can just select the whole thing. I will just drag it a little bit out here. Uh, maybe you can just do it a little bit less here. It's not perfect, but I think for the purpose, it's okay. Yeah. So, next one is we can just 
press E and extrude this one so you can connect the both sides with it. When they are again like not true, just press S, X, and then they are on the same size. It's not perfect, honestly. That's not so good to do that. Sometimes just try to do with the S, but uh, with F button connected doesn't work. So I just will do that like this one here, so you can just not see it really bad. Now you can see it. it's really bad. Sorry. So just go again back. Control Z. Well, maybe you can just first make this one here happen. Again, S X. So we just put it out. Oh, no, it doesn't look so good. Hmm. And we just do this one here. Now it, I think it need to be right. That's not so good. Hmm. Well, it's not so good. It was not so perfect, but I think this one just will do it. I think you get it. <laughs> so I just can make this there like this and press alt d to duplicate it and you can just press this one here okay can save it next thing again so add a mesh plane extruded like biggest one this is just our fundamental so like this again select just one uh, how to say it one edge like that then select everything with A and extrude it once so what are the next thing we needed like this here Or something like in kind of the art uh, I just add a new plane push it here so extrude it um, I one don't want to do it like the same one I don't like this kind of kind of uh, I think barricades or something like that so we'll just do something like I like it so I just create again just plain just scale it like that scale it up and I just take a scale button press A again and just make it a little bit less Something like that just set the origin to geometry good again a plane well, drag it in the near from this one here add the subdivision surface uh, modifier apply it so again because we don't need to really to um, make a lot of subdivision you can just dissolve the edges oh Hmm, what's the problem now? Oh, faces, sorry, not the edges. Just press, oh blah, sorry, just press one. Again, extrude it. You can just one, then two, maybe like three time. Up. Then again, extrude like this. I, I really like to do like a little column. Something like this to close it down. Seems a little bit. I like it more, but you can like do the same when you want to. Or something different. 
So I can just scale it first like this and then like that. So it's not so big. This one also scale a little bit down. Oh, I think this one is good. Just duplicate it again. Okay, and I can just select everything, go to object, and join everything together so it's one mesh. Set origin, origin to geometry. So I just push it like here a little bit bigger that is on the same you can press one same center like that mm -hmm. okay you can just rotate it and press on the uh, left ground you can see it's open at this one here and you can just press 90 degrees and it will just change it so you can just push it like that good and then you can go to modify again we have here the array modifier so when we have here the array modifier you can see it just duplicated or you can just duplicate so much all you want it just make 20 oh it's perfect 20 and when you just want to get rid of the space in the middle you can just add constant offset and you can just drag it a little bit down that you cannot see oh, like that yeah something like that but the problem is when you just do like this array uh, when you just want to make a building for your game is that you have a lot of trees or faces so um sometimes i really didn't like to just use the arrays and everything like that but when you just see it on the count so we have now uh, faces of thousand five hundred and trees is three thousand three hundred so it's not a lot but when you just count it can see it goes like up like crazy but uh, it's depend on you how much details it will have I just will add it like here but the columns are a little bit too little so I just will make it low and then just press s to drag it a little bit bigger So, and then we can just scale it again a little bit that it just it will just work in our space okay it's not it's not bad so the next one is we can just duplicate it then also just go on the side here mm, they put here a column so we'll do the same one but first so you can just edit it press d again oh sorry just not edit it you can just duplicate it and then close this array here so we have just one because we just need uh, two here so we can just add a mod again the array modifier just for the two here the best way was when I just didn't create this one here so it were very beautiful um, just connected with the both the same so it's not it was not intelligent to make one column on the right so we just need one left and this one here good Thing like that and then again extrude it good mm -hmm. mm. 
Yeah, I think this one is good. Again, duplicate it. Here we doesn't need a modifier, so we can just again rotate it. Move. Same like that. Again, duplicate it. So again, this one is not so intelligent. So maybe it was just better just to create this one and this one. So just don't do it like the same way like I did. So because you have very much verticals that you really don't need it. And it's a little bit dumb. So I'm sorry for that. But I think you will. I think you get it. Just do like maybe something like that. Because you can see it now, it really looks bad. So it's not perfect, like signed. Just, we'll just close it like that. So, it's not perfect, huh? but it's looking not bad. When you just want to do the same here, you can also just duplicate it, rotate the whole thing a degree, and just push it back change the counts to maybe nine something like that yeah I think this one is good on the back when it has like two columns we can just scale it a little bit no, no, when you scale it, it's not so good. We can just change the offset, maybe. No, oh, it's not bad. So, you can just save it again. It doesn't look so bad. Next thing is we need a door. So, just create again a plane. Push it up. Rotate it. 90 degree that it looks to us move it scale it put it down Something like that go to edit mode select the edge then we can just put it in i think from the so bad now we can just extrude it up really big and just put it again in and then we can just extrude it Go a little bit down. Again, extrude it. Again, go a little bit down and extrude it again. Uh, maybe this one is too much, so I can just drag it up. So, but you have like a kind of a uh, door. It's not the best door. But it's it's okay. Good. Maybe next thing we can do is a little bit color it, but first we just finish this one here. So we can just go here, press again Alt D to duplicate it, scale it, push it out, then scale it a little bit. It's like like this one here. Then P and selection. So you can change it just this one here. Set the object to geometry again. And the store is luckily very easy. So you just extrude it the same way like we did it with a door once. Two and then three. So, 
and before before we just duplicate it so it's easier just to to make the colors uh, i really like just to add materials to add materials you just need to go down here and then click on new just give it a name so maybe this just just white so it's the normal uh, fundamental so you can assign it then again click on a new one and this one is brown and the brown one just change it a little bit like this one on the base color so to change the colors you just need to select the faces you want to change so in this case it's this one here and this one here then you can go to brown and assign it it's a little bit too bright so we just put it a little bit down so the door is like so wooden it's, it's a little bit like yellowish but i think i really like the white more so you can just put it like this and the best one is because you just create the material and you can just duplicate it three times when you create the material um it just will save it so you just need to change manually all the materials so i think this one is good it's like a door I can just save it again and then we can just okay we do next like the window like such a x window You just go to plane, drag it up, press seven. So um, it's it has a lot of possibilities how to make this one here. Uh, mine is a little bit strange, honestly. I'm just put a mirror modifier in it. Uh, where is it? I don't see him. So and I'm just. I just will take this edge, drag this out, same with this one here. So I have like kind of this X here, oh sorry, then you can apply it, oh sorry, can this one, apply it, take the whole one, just put it out, oh. rotate it. 90 degrees make a little bit like this and create a new plane again rotate it to 90 degrees put it up something like this one so select this extrude it it again I can just go it down Something like this one here or we can just extrude this also just change that it will go down and then it will be perfect in it kind of perfect just extrude a little bit more good I just press this one here so we have six again so I can just make it a little bit little um, this one is a little bit too little so I just select order and extrude it a little bit more good now here again you can just go to colors and colors that you really already created they are here select the white material so everything is white first then we create a new one named black select the middle one here and assign it to black and just change the color so we cannot see it because it's a little bit too much behind now it's good and you can this one also just create the white material
good. Oh, I think this one is also good. So we can just duplicate it. That and then duplicate the whole thing again. Okay. It's not perfect, but it looks good. stages and everything they're a little bit too overkill so we just stay like this one here yeah we can just try to colorate also this one here so you can just sorry you can just first assign the white material and then you can just assign so you can just select the face that you want have like this kind of brownish look Select this one here. Okay. And the, this one here. Open up. So. Good. Then again, click on plus. We can just um, need the same like brownish look like this one here. So I think this one is good. Uh, mm -hmm. the same thing we can also do here like kind of this brownish here so just select the whole sides something like that So press Alt, so you can just select everything. And again, first add the white material and then plus and add the brown because you need just have a, a base color for the for this one part here. So you can assign it. Good. And we can just do the same here. Because we have here the mirror modifier, so we just need to do it on the, with all the things on the side, just on one side, and it will just mirror it. That's a little bit easier to do it for us. But it's not so difficult. Okay, I can, okay here's a little bit of a problem. But we'll just do it in a sec. So, this one is just too much out. I can just push it back. And here also, I have a little problem here. Let me just push this one a little bit outside. Okay. Good. And just when you want to add like kind of these columns, it's also easy. Just make a, ma a plane put it like here extrude it once scale it extrude it again um when you want to make kind of um just to do to, to make it like smooth you can click ctrl b and then it will just smooth the edges out so when you really want to do this, you can also smooth it a little bit. Looks not so bad, honestly. Then we can create again one. This one is for the little part here in the middle. And we can just think bend this one here. Uh, just smooth it out like here. Good. Then we can just click here. Duplicate it. Press B selection. So we can just add it like 
how we want. Go to subdivision surface, apply this one here, object set origin to geometry because it wasn't a spot. And this one is a really easy method how I do the, the, the this kind of um, now to make like candles in it. Just add a mode, select everything. Then you can just make one, two, like this. Mm, maybe just a little bit better. It wasn't so good. So then we can just make one, two, three, four. So you have like kind of this all. So and then press again E, make like this one, scale it again E until you're here down and scale it until you can not see it. So maybe you can just scale it a little bit up, a little bit bigger, something like that. Push this on the ground. Duplicate it and it's on the other side save it. So I think this one is pretty good. So the next things we can make is um, add all the modifier so you can apply it. Also the array modifier because when you cannot apply it you cannot export it or it will have problems. But I think oh, this one here also. Good. Nice. When you just want to add more details, you can do it. It's, it's not so difficult. It's very easy. So Blender 2.8 is very powerful. I really like it. But I think this one is also very good. Just when you want to change a little bit with the lightning, you can just go on Z and push render mode. You can see here we have a little point lamp. You can just drag it around. When you say, oh, there's not so much light, you can delete it. Click on collection so it will apply it on the collection and add a light, a sun. So you can see it's much more brighter. With R, you can rotate it how you like it. So maybe like something like that. Uh, when you want to render it, you have your, your camera. So the best way how I like to um, make the camera position, just look it at the viewpoint, something like that. Go to view, align view, and align active camera to view. So the camera will just align here. When you go on uh, the camera here, you can see focal length. So you have this option just on the camera. When you can click it here, you can see you can drag it out or in. So this, everything what's in it, it will be rendered. So when you go here to render and render image, you can see it's right here. You can save it. Normally, just save it on the desktop, like temple. Save it as image. When you're finished, you can just close it. When you want to go out, you can just drag it out or you can press zero also. Good. So you have other possibilities. You can only work in solid. When you just want to look like this kind of material, you can go to shading and click random. So you can see the whole material randomness which all kind, you can see here, we have a lot of little bit of problems, but it's okay. The texture to the object, the single. So you have a lot of possibilities. When you go on uh, the look view, I really like to work on it. You have here like shading also, and you can just change the different lightnings that you can apply it. So uh, maybe Roman, it's like, I don't know, parking or something like that. It's a little bit Mediterranean, so it's a little bit of orange. You can rotate it 
the color uh, you can also make the background all white or not but it will just depend on this background here but it's okay just put it down what you have here a lot of possibilities it gives you a little bit of um yeah a little bit of uh, um, optimization possibilities you have also a lot of possibilities in blender also you have here like the layout the modeling sculpting when you want to sculpt something you have here everything that you need you just need to select something go to sculpting you can just drag this out to really uh, look what it is and you can drag pinch fill but in sculpting i'm not so good uh, i have zbrush to sculpting it's a little bit better but i think it's not better but I, um, I think when you really want to learn something like that i will just stay with blender because it's really powerful it's so good this, the, the 2.8 update is really very good just drag this one out here you have here like uv editing texture painting so when you have like a texture you want to apply it shading with the note editor but also i'm not so good in the note editor but it has a lot of tutorials animations renderings for your pick yes and scripting but you have a lot of possibilities so i hope you liked the little tutorial it, it's my first tutorial so when i uh, speak a little bit strange i was very nervous so let me know when i can um, improve it so when i could help you just let me know and the next tutorial maybe i will just do like something like a japanese castle or something like that but thank you for looking at my tutorial and have a nice day.